The season of giving is here, and you can play a role in helping people have a very happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. Tomorrow, the Salvation Army of Greater Charlotte kicks off their annual Red Kettle Campaign, which has been an essential tool for decades, providing for families all around our area in need. Joining me this morning, Major Jason Burns, Area Commander for the Greater Charlotte Branch. Uh, Jason, a pleasure to have you on. Thanks for coming in today. Oh, it's my pleasure. It was easy traffic coming in this way, and so it's great to be here. Wow, did you hear that? That's rare this morning. We like to hear that, yeah. Jason. The, the red kettle and the ringing of the bell, like yep. those two scenes, uh, you see them in Christmas movies that yep. go back 50, 60 years. Yep. I still walk into a mall. Uh, it just takes me back to my childhood. There's absolutely. so much history with this, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've been ringing the bell for well over 100 years across the United States. It started way back in San Francisco, and it's just really we are an iconic symbol of Christmas, and we're part of the culture of Christmas here in the U.S., yeah. and that has spilled out to over other countries as well. How, do you, how have you seen things change with the with the Red Kettle campaign over the years? Because yeah. I'm sure it started with just maybe one or two volunteers, literally a bucket on the it ground, did. and it it's did. transformed, right? Yeah, so it's people in the north may remember the kettle huts where people, the, our bell ringers would be in, it was like a little cabin, and they've got a like heater in there, and they're they're ringing the bell. I, th I, <laughs> I think the freezing was ringing the bell more than anything. <laughs> I think you're probably right. Uh, and then, of course, if you're in South Florida, you've got the whole shorts and flip-flop bell ringers. You know, you've yeah. got the sun and the palm trees. But no, bell ringing has changed in, in its identity over the years. But beyond that, we are still there to help raise uh, monies for the Salvation Army and to, to bring Christmas cheer to all that we come across. How do you guys use the money that's raised when you put all this collection together here in our local area? Yeah. What, like, what, what's the need and how yeah. do you guys attack that need? So uh, the bell ringing is our, one of our larger general donation fundraisers. And so that goes in our undesignated general pots. Um, however, we know that every dollar that's raised in that community stays in that community. It's not being sent somewhere else. It stays and helps in those communities for yeah. the variety of programs uh, that are going on, whether that's homeless services or feeding programs or boys and girls clubs, community centers, uh, senior programming, uh, camp programming in the summer. Those monies help to, to fund the Salvation Army's programs. It, it would be nice. I hate to say that I would like one year to, to, to never have to see a red kettle yeah. bell out there again. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Which meant yeah. at some point... We all took care of our neighbors in our community, yeah. and we didn't need to be raising money Correct. for it. Unfortunately, though, it seems like year after year, are you seeing the donations decrease uh, yeah. and the need increases? Yeah. I mean, those two don't go hand in hand. Yeah, well, of course, the need ebbs and flows. I mean, sometimes when you're, the economy is better, our need drops just a little bit. But in general, we all, as, as it's been said, we always have the poor among us. And so there's mm -hmm. always going to be people who are, are in crisis or their margins are really small and they find themselves at our, at our doorstep, whether that's through a sheltering program or, or angel tree that's about to kick it's kicked off as well. Or, mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes it's a utility assistance bill or, or just whatever the crisis that they're facing. And they, they find themselves unexpectedly at the Salvation Army's doorstep. So here's what I want to encourage our viewers to do. If you're looking for a way to help this holiday season to give back, you can volunteer. You don't have to have any super special skills. Yeah. You just need to have a heart and an open schedule yeah. to, to, to volunteer, Jason. Is yeah. that right? To be able to ring the bell and, and maybe uh, you can have a team, create a yeah. team, and even do a virtual yeah. uh, kettlebell. Yeah, absolutely. We, the volunteers is one of our, our greatest impacts because it's people giving uh, and of their time to help people in their, their community. Uh, and bell ringing can seem intimidating. You, you think people are asking for money. Well, really, all you have to do is wish people Merry Christmas or yeah. say Happy Holidays. And, and the kettle itself sells itself. People know why you're there. But That's really, right. as people donate, whether, they, again, you mentioned groups, uh, individuals, businesses, families, um, it, it really is an amazing way to be part of Christmas season here in the U.S. There's nothing that feels worse when I walk out of a store and I, I see the bell ringer, I see yeah. the kettle, and I'm like, oh, I literally, and I know people <laughs> say it all the time, I don't have any cash. Yeah. You know what? You guys have taken extra extra steps with modern technology, and you've gone digital. No more can you walk out of a yeah. Belk or wherever else and go, sorry, I don't have a one. I don't have a five or a 10 yeah. or a 20. Everyone's, everyone's got their phone, yep. right? So yep. now you can do this digitally? Yep, we have QR codes on every one of our stands. Of course you do. Uh, and if you don't have that, you can always go to our Salvation Army website. Uh, ours here is SalvationArmyCharlotte.org, or you can just go to Salvation Army USA, and there's always a Donate Now button. Uh, and when you ever hit that Donate Now, all those funds will come back to the zip code in which you reside. Yeah. And so even if you're in San Francisco or, or somewhere else and you hit the Donate Now button, those monies will come back to your local community. We're looking at the page right now on the website. That's yeah. exactly, you can, whatever amount of money you want to donate, there's some suggestions there if you want to yeah. do that. Hashtag Red Kettle Challenge. Yeah. If you want to build your own team and raise funds, uh, then do it. What a great thing to do with your office. 
yeah. uh, you know, th th this time of year. And so I, I love that the power of serving the community is is needed all year mm -hmm. round, but especially right now. And and mm -hmm. if you've been blessed in your business or with your own finances uh, over the year, what a great time to be able to give back and help those in our hurting Absolutely. community. Uh, Major Jason Burns, thank you for what you and your wife and everyone else with the Salvation Army here and this uh, part you. of North Carolina is doing. Really thank you. It's our it. pleasure. All God right. bless and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. All right, coming up on 849. And